flying drones is fun. This one is called Tello, and I bought it after I saw a video online where someone used it to implement gesture control. So you could control this drone just with your hands and tell it to go right or left, uh, up and down and so on. And ever since I saw that, I wanted to have an autonomous drone myself. Let's see what we can do about this. The Tello is a relatively inexpensive camera drone made by a Chinese company called RISE. RISE is actually partnering with DJI. Those are the ones that are also making the professional camera drones. The flight stabilization within Tello comes from DJI. For control, it connects to a smartphone via Wi-Fi and is controlled through an app. And Bluetooth controllers, game controllers are also supported. The Tello does not have any GPS but it is stabilized automatically via infrared sensors on the bottom, its camera and probably some internal sensors. The flight time is about 13 minutes and it has some additional nice features such as acrobatic maneuvers and it can for example turn 360 degrees while shooting video by itself. There's a new version of the Tello, marketed as an educational drone which features more programming capabilities. But the hardware seems to be almost identical to the old one that I have here. So what am I actually trying to achieve here? My long-term goal is to use the Tello drone as an indoor security camera that is able to autonomously fly to a room in the apartment and take some video there, for example, when a motion sensor triggers there. For that, I want to connect it to my home automation system. How am I trying to achieve this? By connecting my own computer program to the drone instead of the official app. The computer program will then read the sensors from the drone, analyze the data, derive some actions from the data and then send commands back to the drone. I only need to take care of high-level commands for the drone, such as how high to fly or where to go. The low-level control such as keeping the correct height or flight stabilization is actually already taken care of by the drone itself. While I was working on this project, I received these beautiful printed circuit boards. They are called Pico Planet and they are made by BleepTrack. And each of the Pico Planets has three capacitive touch buttons, an RGB LED, and of course a microcontroller. If you want to know more about the Pico Planets, Head over to BleepTrack's channel, I'll put the link in the description. As soon as I got my hands on the Pico Planets, I knew I just had to integrate them into my project. So I decided to build a remote control for the drone with a Pico Planet as input device. I designed a 3D printable case in Fusion 360. And I ordered an ESP32 development board, which can connect to the Telos Wi-Fi and send commands to it. The ESP32 controller will be the brain of the remote control. As flight controls, I got some replacement joysticks for a game controller. Time to 3D print the case. and then some soldering. I attached a flat cable connector to the joysticks and soldered in a pin header. I also soldered resistors to all of the LEDs.
Then it was time to integrate everything into the 3D printed case. First the joysticks. Then the switches. And then I realized I forgot to design mounting holes for the LEDs, so I simply drilled some holes in. I then mounted the LEDs. And before long I had managed to create the biggest chaos in my workshop. In my future projects I should think a bit more carefully about cable management. We are still missing the most important part, the Pico Planet. And then it was finally time to program it. The ESP32 board has a micro USB port, which makes programming it very convenient. And look at that, it's actually doing things. Of course, in reality, this took me quite some iterations to get it working. I also realized that there wasn't enough space to fit all the electronics in the 3D printed case. I had already iterated on the case and didn't want to print another one, so I used duct tape to fix that issue. Luckily, everything still worked after assembly. And so it was time for the first complete test with a Telodrome. Perfect! It actually works really well. But what is the Pico Planet for? Well, what do you think? Aerobatics, of course! This was an awesome project. I'm still of course far away from a completely autonomous drone. But I learned a lot about programming the Tello and its capabilities. And I got a really cool remote out of this, with awesome clicky switches and a beautiful Pico planet. I also learned a lot about the ESP32 in the process. And if you're interested in playing around with your own Tello drone, I'll put some resources into the video description. In future videos I want to continue with my quest of making the Tello drone autonomous. See you next time!